Hi everybody! Thanks for taking a minute to watch this video. I hope it's an aha for you. I plan to do a few more of these in the coming year, so stay tuned. What I'm going to share in this video is just a super quick idea that I often suggest, almost always suggest to my clients, and they usually go along with it. I have only really can think of one client who resisted in one aspect of it, but pretty much they took it and they ran with it. Um, and so it comes up in conversation when we're working on a project like organizing their electronic files or even tackling the entire company's shared server. So as you probably do yourself, um, people frequently include dates in their file names. So you can see a list of um, my express trainings from 2018 listed here. So a lot of people do include dates in their file names, um, which is really a great idea. So for those of you that don't, let me tell you why that's the first aha maybe for you, is do include dates in your file names when it's important to, to have some kind of version control. Um, because you can't necessarily trust this date modified date. I've seen many times um, in my client organizations where IT has come in and done their magic to upgrade the server or replace um, somebody's computer or whatever and all of a sudden all of their date modified timestamps have the exact same date and time. So we immediately know those are junk dates. They don't, they don't actually correspond to what the file is. So um, so putting dates in your file names is a great idea because you can trust that date a lot more than you can the state modified date. To take it one step further, what I really coach my clients to do is to get in the habit of entering that date opposite of how we write it everywhere else. And that is to put it in, um, I like the four digit year, a two digit month, and then if you need to go to the detail of a day, put in the two digit day. And the reason I like this is you can see in this list right here, all of my files are, because I have them sorted by name here, they are falling in chronological order. Or perhaps for vision control, all of your files kind of have the same name and at the end you have this date. They would still fall in chronological order. If you don't put the year first, then all of your January versions are gonna end up together regardless of year. Um, and so on. So th on top of that, I like to do the two digit month, two digit year, so that my January files don't get mixed in with October, November, and December, um, but rather they stay in order with 01, 02, 03, 04, etc. So Anyway, I hope that helps you with your electronic file management, especially when when tracking updates is important to you. So if you take this and run with it, I'd love to hear any, any success stories that you have along the way.